Bogues is going to be active early. Morning stole that rebound from Longley. Longley had position, didn't even jump. Now see that Alonzo cannot get upset at that play. Thought he got fouled. Jordan hits a three to get it started for 19 here, but only one was outside the paint. Muncie Bogues beats B.J. Armstrong off the dribble, and it's at high, so he's shooting the ball very well, which is a big plus. Kutos with a pass, and Larry Johnson left two. He's only been averaging seven points a game in this series. Jordan with two threes to open. Has no problem doing that. Driving on Morning, left hand lay-in from Tony Kutos. His first two shots, forward rebounding there over Larry Johnson. Jordan feeling it. Michael has eight points. He's the hoop and missed the layup. And here's Michael. What's the trajectory on the shot? Look at the nice arc. It gives it a chance to go in. When Michael is not getting that time, he's got to the rim twice. He's missed the shot. But he's putting the ball down on the floor. Here's what came alive. Alonzo Morning. Remember now, offensive. They had three offensive rebounds at the end of the third quarter. Blocked by Morning. Loose ball run down by Hawkins, three on one, Wingate Hawkins, and the Charlotte Hornets have regained the lead. It's third until Kenny Gaston can get into the game for him right now. Hit them back again off the glass, and it's tied at 16, and Doug, my question, make him use energy. How about Wingate pulling the trigger, and now Alonzo lands over this fourth offensive rebound, and it's put up and in by Larry Johnson after Kukoc hits the down. something that he wears on his fingers. He wears something on his fingers. Let's watch to see if he gets hit. Michael reaches in right there and knocks the ball loose. And you'll see Alonzo come out of there holding his hands. You'll see it right there when Michael knocks it loose. And you're going to see him go out of there holding his... Larry Johnson can't live out there against Tony Kuko. to go. Watch out for Bogues. Watch for Curry at the three-point line. That's who you better watch out for. Bang! Del Curry. Del Curry. The drive against Morning. Now they switch and got Larry Johnson. Yeah, B.J. Armstrong posted. They reverse it to Kukoc for three. He hit two for two in game three and opens up when it's on coming. Bogues, Johnson, and Curry. Oh. Johnson over Pippen, who didn't get the, the blocking call or the charge because he we saw that the other night when they called a block on him. Jordan with the drive. They'd like to free him up to the shot against Kerr. He feels comfortable. Good again. dribble left, and he buries the jumper. Good call, Doug. 3.8. That's what you'll be telling your defenders in Detroit next year. Let's just hope they listen. Michael Jordan hit the buzzer. Got it. Jordan buries the three, beating the first quarter buzzer. Opening moments of the second quarter. Sutton driving nowhere to go. The loose ball ends up in the hands of Larry Johnson. It's a three-point bull player. As great as you are, you still get tired. Robert Parrish, tough shot. The rainbow turnaround jump. They would like to be thought of it there, too. Through all the guys that have played this game, he's the 14th leading scorer in playoff history. I think that says a lot about Robert Parrish, who coach. Pippen spins in the lane. Watch the spectacular play of Scottie Pippen. The quick step by Larry Johnson. Look at the extension and the finish. Scottie Pippen, one of my favorite players because I think... Coach isolated against Parrish. See, he's left-handed, had to go to the left hand. That gave Parrish an easy opportunity to block the shot. Out of bounds off Robert. It, now Alonzo Mourning is going to come in as Gaddison sits down. Watch what happens when you force a, a left-handed player right. When he comes back with his... Early in the game, Bulls by four. Who coach? It's his second three. He was two for two. Three shot. Parrish with the ball fake. Johnson gets the loose ball. Misses the tip. Weddington with Tuesday night. Myers has it blocked from behind by Morning. Eight on the shot clock. Purdue finds Kukoc. He's three for three from three-point territory. <laughs> Chicago on a 10-0 run until that three from Curry. That's the only guy that gets uh -oh, what... like an Eastern Conference playoff game at this point. Pippen backing in on Curry, leaping past and under the ongoing Kenny Gaddison, and it's four steals for Scotty Pippen. Now watch this in the post, up and under. Scotty's right-handed. Look at the left-hand dunk. So we've seen the right-hand dunk, the left-hand dunk. We've seen that when he's only one of four tonight. 
Pippen puts the Bulls up by 11. See what the Bulls take a shot. Purdue alone underneath from Tony Suto. Ford since. Wingate answers. They would win. Michael Jordan playing with 13 points. Make it 15. The lob in to Michael, who tips it to Kerr to Pippen, blocked by Morning. That was an exciting series to close the half. The Bull host, watch where Michael's going to be. Larry Johnson, quick turnaround, goes in. Larry Johnson. Timeout right now, they're really out of sync. Hawkins, big bucket, that's a three, and it is a one-point game. So their guards have come to life. Exactly what we talked about. Now Larry Johnson's inside instead of shooting the three. And now Charlotte's got their offense back where they will Jordan against Hawkins. That's where he's most deadly. Quick turnaround jumper from Jordan. And Michael has his first basket of open man Pippen from Jordan. Eight on the shot clock. Off the glass, Scotty Pippen. Oh, he has a beautiful bank shot from that chance for Chicago to pull to within one or tie. Pippen pulls him to within one. Scotty has seven. Maybe he'll be really fresh for that fourth quarter. Charlotte's got to dig in right now. Kukoc knocks down the jumper. Tony's for, for three. Purdue. Back up hard. Blocked by Morning. It's going to be Charlotte ball. Charlotte has got to get some execution now. Will Purdue up strong. He gets it blocked. It goes out off. Uh, now they cannot leave Steve Kerr. Morning grabs Jordan to keep him from shooting. That's a good play by electively leaving. Now, I like this substitution. I like this substitution. If that's for that rebound. Love to Whittington! Timeout, and he's got to control this crowd. Great play by Wingate. See, he's big enough. Field goal for morning in 35 minutes. Open underneath is Whittington. Alonzo Morning never saw him coming. Deep. Flip it to Winnington. Jump shots like they did in game one. Kukoc is going to take the three. And make it. Tony Kukoc has hit four. Trip. Bobby's taking a tougher shot and, and passing up the better one. Pippen ties it at 76 with five minutes to go. Scott it shot because they're going to double him up. Morning hard to the hoop. Stripped away. Morning with the turn. Ball. No place to go. Finds Larry Johnson. Fade away. Jumper off the glass. Point Hornets lead. Larry. Two for nine now for Charlotte in this quarter. Michael Jordan with a miracle shot. And he goes to the line. And Joey Crawford about to tee up Alan Bristow. Unless he does Michael push off with the left arm. Let's watch it closely. Boy, it's hard to That's tell right there. Five fouls on Alonzo Mourning. See, this would be, be a big. I think that was a foul. Pippen to Jordan, pull up jumper. Bang! Michael Jordan time. Hawkins with the drive, and that's the first time he's able to be been able to get my play again. Pippen and Curry, watch this matchup. Pippen from the 15 footer, and it's a one point Bulls. Now the the lead is four, three, fade away from 17. This final sequence once again. Let's watch Michael Jordan. Does Michael Jordan get a piece of him? Scotty, did you touch that ball? No, I didn't. I just kind of uh, got my arm up. I think Michael got a good foul in, and, you know, I didn't see it, so. Uh... All right, now, are we going to hear <laughs> that there's different rules for Michael Jordan at the end of the game than anybody else? You don't... No, 